Okay, this is a demonstration of the underlay technique used in our fabric collage class. Um, so what I want to do is with this particular design here, um, this is from the dress pattern by Fiberworks. Um, you'll see that there's all sorts of like different elements here from, from the dress that are appliqued on uh, using different fabrics. So with the underlay technique, what you want to do is first take a piece of your steam -a seam If I want to maybe just do this piece right here first, you want a piece of steam -a seam that is at least as big as that area, you know, a little bit larger than the area that you want to trace. And uh, first thing you want to do is you want to take off the paper backing and uh, and make sure that the sticky bit is still stuck to the to the other piece. And uh, once you've removed that paper backing, then you can you can stick that um, the sticky bit onto the wrong side of the piece of fabric that you want to use. And uh, and just like with the steam a seam, uh, you want your piece of fabric to be. I usually like the piece of fabric to be just a little bit bigger than the piece of steam a seam that I'm fusing onto it. And uh, so you can stick that onto the wrong side and then iron that to the wrong side of the piece of fabric. I've actually already done that with the piece here so you can see it's, it's actually got steam seam on the back of it and I'm going to be using this piece of fabric um, to cover this area. So now that my um, steam seam is fused onto the fabric what I want to do is I want to start taking the paper away from the fabric as if I were going to take it off but I'm not going to take it all the way off okay I'm just going to sort of take it until there's just sort of a little bit sort of still still attached at the bottom there and then you want to put it sort of um, almost I guess wrong side up as you will basically the the side of the paper that's facing the fabric you want that side up and you're going to then trace the area that you want to cut out And I tend to sort of work essentially from the back of a pattern first, you know, sort of like the bits, these um, kind of ruffles in the in the skirt that are sort of in the back. I'm going to sort of do those first um, and then sort of work my way forward essentially. And because I'm sort of working with these ones that are in the back first, I kind of anywhere where there's sort of overlap with a piece that's going to sit on top, I make it just slightly larger so that this piece will get tucked under the other one. So I've now traced out the shape that I want. So now I close this back up and I'm going to iron this back in place and then I'm going to cut it out. Okay, I'm now back. I've ironed this in place and I'm ready to cut the shape out. So now I am just going to cut the shape right on the line that I drew. And although you drew it essentially on the other side of the paper, the side of the paper that is actually up against the fabric, you can still see the line well enough through the paper to cut it out. Okay, so that's my shape and you know before I take the paper off I can just kind of make sure that's that's gonna go where I want it to go. Now what I can do is I can take the paper off. The sticky stuff is stuck to my fabric so I'm now going to place that where I want it. So that's that one. So let's do another one. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this section here. So it's got a little bit of overlap with this and that's fine. I have taken a, a piece of steam -a seam and a piece of fabric slightly larger than that area and I've taken the backing off the steam -a seam. I've stuck it onto here and uh, fused it onto the fabric. So again, I'm just going to pull the paper away just as if I was going to take it off, but don't take it off. Just leave a little bit attached and draw, draw your line. Oops. Okay. Not 
drawing it very well, but so it's going to come all the way down to here. This one's actually going to tuck in behind the bodice there a little bit. Close that back up. I'm going to refuse this just to make sure they're good and stuck together and then I'm going to cut it out. Okay, I've now uh, ironed that again. Make sure it's, it's good and cool as well before you take the paper off again. Um, obviously we've got to cut it out so I would say by the time we get this shape cut out the paper will be nice and cool. Cut this out. And the more you do this, the more you'll kind of get a feel for, um, you know, when you want your pieces to maybe be a little bit bigger uh, so that they overlap with other pieces so that you don't get any gaps. Okay, so that's that one. So, and that one is gonna go there, okay? So it's gonna kind of overlap this piece a little bit. Just to make sure that we don't end up with any gaps. And it overlaps this one, but I'm actually just gonna tuck it. I want the bodice to be I want to be able to see the edge of the bodice, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just tuck that right under the edge of the bodice. And because we haven't fused anything yet, um, we can kind of move things around and and get the positioning of each one how we want, um, you know, before we commit and iron anything down. So anyway, that's the underlay technique that we're using in the class, and uh, hopefully that's gonna help you with um, with any of the underlay that you might need to do on your particular pattern.